Welcome to Dimchum YouTube channel. This is class 5, lesson 1 of EVS. Multiple choice question for the first lessons of EVS. Which animal can see things only in black and white? What? Birds, rats, bats and snake. And the answer is bats. Only bats are the animals that can see things only in black and white color. So bats is the option. Which of the following animals does not warn other animals of danger? Birds, languors, bats and dolphins. So the option here is four options available and the answer here is bats. Because languors give a, a different sound and also dolphins does and the birds also do the same. Whereas bat does not give any warning to the other animals. So the answer is bats. Which animals are the second third question is which animals are not seen in winters? So, what are the animals that are not in seen much in winters? The options are birds, languors, lizards and all of them. Lizards, because lizards are cold-blooded animals and they cannot be found during the winter's time. Where is the Jim Corbett National Park? The option A, Delhi, Jharkhand, Uttarakhand and Uttar Pradesh and the option is, answer is Uttarakhand. Where is Ghana National Park? Options are Delhi, Haryana, Rajasthan, Uttarakhand and the answer is Rajasthan. So you are going to write T for true and F for false statements. You are going to find which is wrong and the correct statement here. So let's move on with the true or false MCQ questions here. Most of the birds can move their eyes. And the option answer is false as because birds, all birds cannot move their eyes. That's why their head is very flexible to see at the different side. So birds does not move the eyes much. False. Animals can see more colors than humans can. No, that is false. Animals cannot see more colors than humans does. So it is false. The third question is, dogs know if another dog has come into the dogs. No, if another dog has come into the area by moving movements. So, what do you guess? Dogs, will they find the other dog coming to the by movement? False. They judge by the see that, uh, they see and judge that by the urine. Sloths live for about 20 years. No, that is false. They live to about 40 years of lifespan. The next question is, animals that are awake at night can see things only in black and white. Two. What are the animals that are available at night can see things only in black and white? A trigger can roar up to a uh, road can be heard up to six kilometers. False. It can be heard up to three kilometers. A mosquito finds us by our smell and heat of our body. Yeah, that is true. A snake can hear vibrations on the ground. Yes, with the vibration it can see who's uh, it can judge who's going around and all about. It also finds the danger around it. Hunting is allowed in national park. That is very false. That is false. Hunting is not allowed in national park. Animals sense the approaching danger and behave in a strange manner. Yes, they does. And those who uh, grow pets, they may know uh, about it. They behave very in a strange manner when there is any danger to reach about to them. So, so here again there is a match to following animals and the parts of the body body for which they are going to be sold animals have been hunted for various purpose and for what they are being used for animals are elephants have been hunted for what they are being hunted for their tusk and rhinoceros for their horns and crocodiles for the skin and deer deer has been hunted for their musk and snakes for the skin so next we are going to categorize things on the basis of the smell whether they are good or bad and fill in the columns. Garbage dump. Garbage dump is uh, something we get a foul smell and it's bad actually. So we are just going to categorize each and everything according to the good and bad smell. So that is bad. And then next is the flour that is good. Dirty socks is again bad. Petrol is bad. Rotten food is bad. Fish is bad. Coffee is good. Pickle is good. Soap is bad, good actually, sorry. And raw egg is bad, yes. So we have categorized. So we are going to give reasons for the following behavior of the animals and why the animals behave like that. 
so as you walk past a sleeping dog it ears shot up at once why do you think it happens because the dogs are good at hearing they have a super uh, hearing power and so uh, even a little sound a so very soft and a gentle sound can make them know what is going around them so at once when even they, they are sleeping their ears tend to move okay it's because of the super sense of hearing you are eating in the playground and an eagle suddenly flew down and took away your roti how is that it was just flying on the sky but because it has the super power the sense of sight it can see four times better uh, than that of the human beings and so it can uh, easily see the prey or the food from the even if it has been flying away above uh, the sky it can see dog sniffing here and there on the road why do you think it is doing that so dog is been sniffing uh, it's because it is smelling it's not sniffing it's just smelling to get to know where the food is or even it will sniff to get to know where the robbers are uh, around anywhere or is anything the train dog especially the police dog does that and also to find if any other dog has come out to their area or a place of where they are living so that is why they sniff and see and judge and see animals can suddenly behave in a different manner because they know some danger is going to come they feel that uh, some danger is going to come so they behave in a different manner because they can feel wa- the vibrations and uh, they judge things and so they easily know that what danger is going to come to them and so they behave in a very different manner so next is the birds move their neck very often why do they think their birds move as we told earlier birds all birds do not have eyes that can be moving around so they have their head to be rotated and the eyes have been fixed on the side of the heads so they tend to move their head instead of moving the eyes they don't have they cannot move their eyes actually and so they move their head like that and answer the following question in brief why are the lizards not seen in winters lizards are what they are cold blooded and they uh usually the what they will do during the cold time they uh hibernate they hibernate and so they cannot be seen uh, in winter times so they hibernate in winters and they are cold blooded and so they cannot be seen much in the winter times they are being cold blooded and the next question is why are dogs used in special search operation by police and it is already as said uh, because dogs have a special super power of uh, smell and so does they uh, they do not need to they uh, the it helps the police actually for them to catch the thieves okay so that is the very special purpose for what the police are using the dogs so here the they have super sense of smell so with that which they help the police to easily catch and uh, investigate the crime reports how can most of the birds see two different things at time because they have their eyes on the of the side of the heads or not on the front of the head they have on the side the eyes on the side of the heads or not on the front and so they this helps the birds to see two different things at the same time okay and next why do snakes react to sound the next question and this question is very important actually next is why do snake react to sound although they do not have external ears why do you think it happens that snake react to sound because they can feel the vibration the snakes can feel the uh, vibrations and so they uh, react to the sounds although they do not have any ears they react to the sounds how do the tribes living in andaman islands manage to themselves to save themselves from the tsunami yes they were able to save themselves from the tsunami because they watched the different behavior of the animals and um, and that is how they judge that something is going to happen bad 
and so they managed themselves to save themselves from the tsunami because they observed the strange behavior of the animals around them now what are sense organs and how are they uh, useful to us so sense organs are nothing but the body parts the body organs and uh, there are five sense organs that is usually known to us so in what way are they useful to us because they are useful to us in various ways so the sense organs like eyes uh, is used to see nose is used to smell mouth to taste and uh, tongue to taste right so all the hear to hear and the skin to feel so they help to hear smell taste and feel so observe, observe the picture and answer the following question what is the name of the animal seen in the picture and that is langua so that the animal here you can see you're seeing is langua it belongs to the monkey family actually and how does this animal warn other animals if uh, of its area about the danger so what it does it by giving okay or making a very different uh, sound okay very different sound it uh, actually gives a warning to other animals about the danger now the tiger is one of the most alert and strong animal and yet today tigers are in danger answer the following question about tiger so yes tigers are in danger and that's why we uh, say preserve tigers and uh, as um, our national animal it's uh, the strength of tiger is getting down so yes we are preserving tigers and which sense of tiger is very strong the first question is hearing the hearing sense of tiger is very strong because the sense of hearing goes is very strong for them and this is how uh, the sense of elsem in finding a uh, food so this sense of uh, help them animal in finding their food also because um, any small sound could uh, they could recognize and they can find so they can hear very small things around them sounds also and so if any animal is nearby or uh, any animals is out to come they know and they this is how they this helps them mainly in finding the food actually so now the next one is how does a tiger mark its area it's by urine so tiger has its own area to rule by so it marks it around with the urine now what helps a tiger to move on the dark because it's because of the high sight the eye sight is six times okay it's not a uh, little but it is six times better at night than in the morning the tiger's eye sight is six times more far better at night now answer the following question about sloths so how do sloths eat now sloths what do you think they eat they eat the leaves of the trees so they eat only that the leaves of the trees when do they move to another tree so when the eat all the leaves of the other of the trees okay of the tree then only they will get down and uh, so when they eat all the leaves so they have finished with all the leaves they will be getting down to another tree why do sloth come down from the tree once a week to relieve because it will be from the sleep so because they will be sleeping for nearly 17 to 18 hours a day and so they want some uh, they i think that is the work for them so 40 years they spend mostly in sleeping only next match the following dog strong sense of smell and owl has both eyes in front of the head and eagle has a strong sense of vision silkworm has a strong sense of a distinct smell okay it leaves a distinct smell on the way and lizard it goes sleep in winter now we'll just find the national parks and where are they situated it is a very important question too Jim Corbett National Park. The Jim Corbett National Park is in uh, Uttarakhand. And the next is Bandipur Sanctuary that is in Karnataka. And the Periyar Sanctuary bird. It's famous for birds and it is in Kerala. Sundarban National Park is in West Bengal. Kaziranga National Park is in Assam. Gir Wildlife Sanctuary is in Gujarat. Kanha National Park that is in Madhya Pradesh and the Mudumalai National 
sanctuary that is located in Tamil Nadu. So this is very important question and uh, this can be repeatedly asked in your MCQs or uh, it can be asked even for your periodic test and essay session ending exam. So all these are uh, very important question to be noted down. So do go through this uh, very carefully and know the names of the national park that is very important to go on with. So hope you would have enjoyed this video and learned a lot. Please subscribe our channel to get more useful videos. Thank you.